everybody welcome back in this video we are going to see the important statistical tools for your research because i have been getting more messages to talk about the various statistical tools which are available for the research this is a mini tab you can see here that this is a mini tab mini tab is a tool which is very user friendly which is very um, its graphical user interface is very effective you can easily learn it quick okay so if you want to make a better decision you can just go ahead with a mini tab in mini tab they are releasing various uh, various versatiles of uh, features for example if you want to use it for only statistical purpose then you can download the software for free that is for a free trial version if you want to do some automation or any other uh, um, data transformation thing then you can go ahead go ahead with a mini tab connect okay if it is a predictive modeling then you can use spm and if it is a quality trainer that if you want to do more statistics and if you want to teach someone then you can do a quality trainer okay and mini tab workspace you can also try this for visuals and tools and mini tab engage you can check this as well okay so now as a start um, research we are doing a basic research so we need a mini tab this is what we'll be using data analysis part this is a free trial they are giving for 30 days okay if you click here it will redirect you to this page where you can download it that is a free trial okay if you can just simply click here for the free trial it will ask you it will redirect you that you can download it for 30 day free trials okay just give your name give all these inputs name first name last name your email and the phone number which one best, best describes your job title department this complete details you have to give and then you have to submit it okay it will show you for the capture if you submit it it will give you it, it will show the it will send the download link to your mail id you can download and activate your free trial version from there so i have used mini tab for my research as well it will be very easy you can easily learn it if you want to learn it please let me know drop your message in the comment box so i'll be teaching that too let's see the next one which is a prism that is a graph pad prism this is also a scientific research tool which is specifically built for statistical purpose okay almost all the statistic based tools there they'll be offering you a free trial version for 30 days you can utilize that okay so here if you just click here start a free trial it will ask you for your email id and then once if you click get started you can start using your graph pad you can ask within 30 days how can i do these things okay the one thing is if you are constantly working towards your research it will take hardly one week to learn about the software or a tool because almost all the tools which i'm showing is very very easy to understand and implement it so you have to spend at least one week to explore completely about the tool just uh, have a look around the tool uh, give some sample data as an input and see how it is working and once you're comfortable with that and you once you understand what sort of things and features the tool is having then you can just directly go ahead with your data and make the process the next one is eeg lab okay is also an interactive matlab toolbox for processing continuous and event related eeg meg and other electropsychological data sorry electrophysiological data incorporating independent component analysis so this is also but this is not common for everyone okay so only few things you can do it this is actually for free fine so this is a free tool you can download and work okay so next is this is what widely used that is matlab even in matlab they are giving you 30 day free trial you can try that and use it almost in all the 
tools they'll be providing the documentation that documentation you can download and work on it and learn how it works how stuff works okay if you have any doubts on these things you can just ask me i'll be there to help you and uh, the other uh, statistical tools which i have not shown you here is r r programming language is also a statistical tool where you can use it for your statistics purpose but it is basically a programming based statistical software where you have to use your programs you have to type program and uh, get the result but in r we have a package called rattle that is a gui based statistical uh, software that is a tool if you want to know more about rattle you can just uh, send your uh, comments send your message in the comment box i'll train you on the start rattle okay that is in r r package in r we have a rattle package and the next one you can use it excel that is almost available in everybody's laptop or pc even now in mobile phone as well if you want to make use of the excel software you can also do that but anyhow for excel do we have to write some formulas if you are okay with that you can go ahead with the formula or else we have some add ons for excel that we can utilize it for the statistical purpose so if you want to know more about the excel add ons as well you can ask me through the comment box so these are all the basic so statistical software and widely used statistical software that you can also try it for your research so whatever the software which you are going to try i will tell you my way of understanding and how i started working on the statistical software is i have used minitab and rattle okay so what i'll do is i'll download it first and install and first for one week i'll not directly go into any of data that is based on my data and research part i'll just go through all the content the documents and the help document which is provided by the software where you'll get some insights into it and i'll just use some sample data which is available already in the internet from that what you will get is you will come to know what are the other possibilities which you can do with the data okay and what type of data you have to give as an input if you want to do a specific task or a specific statistics so that you will understand once if you start working with the tool but daily at least you have to spend 10 to 20 minutes for your research that you should show some progress towards your research if you want to complete your research within the prescribed time or within the prescribed year then definitely you have to spend at least 10 to 20 minutes for your research this i strongly recommend you may also know some other statistical tools if you know please post it where even i can have a look at it and if it might be useful for other researchers as well if you want to know about minitab or um, r that is a rattle package which is which is available in r you can send that message in the comment box i'll be there to definitely help you out thank you all the best for your research keep watching all the videos i'm planning to post more and more about research specifically thank you take care bye bye